Just for fun, I wanted to see what the motherboard's auto overclocking feature would do. It, it, it didn't go very well for 5 gigahertz. With almost no effort, I was able to get the CPU at 4.7 gigahertz, and I confirmed it with Prime 95. Later, I can work on getting the CPU clocked even higher, but right now it's not a top priority. After downloading the newest Omega driver from AMD.com and installing it, Crossfire was automatically enabled. I'm going to disable it for now because I want to run my benchmark with just one graphics card. Okie dokie, so we've run the benchmark one time with Crossfire disabled. Now we're going to enable it. We right click on the desktop, hit AMD Catalyst Control Center, then we're going to hit the Performance tab, AMD Crossfire X, and then enable AMD Crossfire X. And hit apply. The screen's gonna go black for a second, and we're good to go. As simple as that. So I'm gonna close this off, and I'm gonna run my benchmark. Even under full load, the system only draws 460 watts, and stays quiet and cool. So our overall score with Heaven was 1369 with Crossfire enabled. So that's almost double what it was with our single card. But we're going to run it one more time, and we're going to see what it looks like overclocked. So I have a couple benchmarks right now with my app, but I want to overclock the cards now. And to do that, I just have to use the AMD Kellis Control Center. It's real easy, and allows me to enable graphics overdrive with the click of a button, and punch in my values. I'm going to punch in 20% for the power limit, and 20% for the GPU clock limit. And i got to do this for both cards. And 20% is pretty much the cap for this application. I'm going to hit apply, and we're going to see if we can run it without it bombing. And there it is. I'm going to hit benchmark. And now we wait and see what we get. It's pretty quiet. The loudest thing in the whole system is the enterprise drives, but it's really hard to get those things quiet. They just make a bunch of noise. In addition to being quiet, the graphics cards and CPU are overclocked 20% yet still only draw about 500 watts total. It goes to show you that power supply calculators generously overestimate, and it comes down to quality more than quantity. So I wanted to go over my benchmark results with you guys really quickly, starting from the top. Um, with no overclock and with only one graphics card enabled, my score was 699. With my CPU overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz and Crossfire enabled, I almost doubled my score. But it goes to show you how powerful Crossfire can be because it scales really, really well now in most 3D applications. And then finally, with the 20% um, overclock on the graphics cards, again, this is an overclocked graphics card already from the factory and I overclocked at 20%, we saw <laughs> a 20% increase, which is good. This, this shows everything is working like it should. The max FPS for Crossfire unoverclocked was 105, and 20% overclock was 125. So it shows you that, that everything scales really well with these new drivers and AMD graphics cards. This application suits me just fine. It tells me everything's working like it should be, the system's running cool, quiet, and stable, and it's going to be good enough to hand off to my friend. Well, and finished the system, and you know you're finished after you remove the warranty void if remove stickers from your system. <sighs> Anyways, I think it's time to take a well-deserved break, play one of my favorite games, and break this puppy in. I just said break twice in a row, didn't I? I bet your computer can't handle this game.
bumper anyways. Weight reduction. Ball joints are a little loose, but it's fine. We're fine. Stop being a backseat driver. Come on. Eighth place, baby.